Hi, I am Dr. Hemant Kumar Pandarpukar. I am a consultant vascular and endovascular surgeon at the Manipal Hospitals, Bangalore. Today, I will briefly speak about diabetic foot and diabetic foot ulcers. The foot of a patient with long-standing diabetes is what constitutes diabetic foot. It is a combination of changes in the skin, the muscles, the bones, the nerves, arteries, etc. Over a period of time, diabetes causes damages to the blood vessels leading to reduced blood flow to the foot, to the nerves which, which causes reduced sensation in the foot. Also the muscles are affected because of the nerves affecting the nerve supply. And then there are certain metabolic changes which causes changes in the skin of the patient in a diabetic patient. Over a period of time, the patients tend to lose sensation in the feet. They will not realize that they are having an injury or a wound in the foot. They tend to neglect it because it is painless and then the wound forms and it becomes an ulcer. An ulcer is nothing but a breach in the skin of a person. To treat a foot ulcer, we need to treat the cause along with the wound care. In diabetic patients, wound care is very important. If the sensation is reduced and the ulcer is on the sole, it needs to be offloaded, it needs to be cleaned regularly and dressed regularly, infection needs to be controlled. Along with that, we need to assess how the circulation is. It is commonly done by doing an arterial duplex scan which will tell us how good the blood flow to the foot is. If it is significantly reduced then to just not heal the ulcer but to save the foot you would have to do peripheral angiography and some sort of revascularization procedure to improve the blood supply to the foot. Now the revascularization procedures commonly would include endovascular procedures wherein without a cut you put a wire and a balloon into the occluded vessels and blow it open to open up the vessels and improve the blood supply. If the blockage is extensive or long, some of these patients will require a surgical bypass procedure to bypass the occluded segment of the artery to improve the blood supply to the foot. So diabetic foot ulcers are not only limb threatening, they can be life threatening because once a diabetic patient undergoes a major amputation like a below knee amputation or an above knee amputation, the survival rate at the end of five years is less than 50 percent so it is very important to save the diabetic patient's foot not only to keep his quality of life good but also to keep his life intact